Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, Legend of Grimrock. I'm almost always saying Grimlock because I think that's a transformer or something. But uh, before we talk about the game, I gotta show you something I found here in the option screen. Tablet mode. This game is, as far as I know, only available for Windows and Mac and uh, Linux. But they have a tablet mode. So you can control the game through your tablet, touch, uh, touchpads, or a single button mouse. But that is some forward thinking right there. Not everyone has a keyboard and a mouse. They may be playing it on a Windows 8 tablet or something like that. And that's it. That's that says good form. Good form. Uh, it is published and developed by Almost Human Games, and they are in the making of Legend of Grimrock 2. So it's about time we got to this one. And here's what the game has to say about itself. Legend of Grimrock is a dungeon crawling role playing game with an old school heart, but a modern, but a modern execution. A group of prisoners are sentenced to certain death by, ex by exiling them to the secl secluded Mount Grimrock for a wild, for the wild crimes they may or may not have committed. Unbeknownst to the captors, the mountain is riddled with ancient tunnels, dungeons, and tombs built to crumble civilization long perished now. Built by crumble civilization. Built to crumble civilization would have been a good feat. But anyways, um, if they ever wish to d see daylight again and reclaim their freedom, the ragtag group of prisoners must form a team and descend through the mountains level by level. The game brings back the old school challenge with highly tactical real time combat and gr grid based movement. Devious hidden switches and secrets, as well as deadly traps and horrible monsters. Legend of Grimrock puts an em emphasis on puzzles and exploring, and the wits of perception of the players are more important tools. Oh, this is getting a bit. <laughs> I just go one once more, once more. Legend of Grimrock puts an emphasis on puzzles and exploring, and the wits and perception of the players are more important tools than the than even the sharpest swords could be. And if you're a hardened dungeon crawling veteran and you crave an extra challenge, you can arm yourself with a stack of grid papers and turn on the old school mode, which disables the luxury of the automatic. Are you ready to venture forth and unravel the mysteries of Mount Grimrock? Who here remembers playing RPGs with uh, like a grid paper and just scrolling down a map to see where you are? If either if you're playing the game or you just want to do it anyways, there's a dungeon editor so you can create your own dungeons, but we're not going to do that. We're going to see what this game has to offer. Create characters. Now let's Now actually let's look at a create character. So we can see what we can do. Ah, let's for five. What can we have? We can have human, minotaur, lizard man, insectoid, and all these stats differ up naturally. And we have some character portraits as well. As far as I know, you get four characters. And you have two in the front and two in the back, so we might want some heavies in the front. Yeah, let's do a Minotaur. Or can you do it with just one guy? That would actually be interesting. No, you can't click start game unless you have more characters. Okay. More heavy hitters. It's... Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Health. 77 energy. Accuracy protection. I'm looking at the stats to see what character I could put up on the front. Insectoid is a little bit weaker, but more 
Well, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's see here. Yeah, let's put another human fighter in the front. Let's see. Oh, we can still allocate points there. That's good. Well, let's go with the warrior princess thingy. Let's have a mage lizard and a rogue insectoid. Yeah, there we go. And let's see, we want heavy tanks in the front. Accuracy is determined by dexterity. There we go. More attack power, yes. Hmm. Some more hit points. And some more attack power, yes. Now, a mage. What do we want with the mage? Health and stamina. Perform maneuvers to make accuracy and keen eye. Willpower, force of mind, and build to arcane powers. Maybe a lizard man wasn't the prime choice then. Okay, so let's switch it up. Let's have a rogue lizard man and a mage insectoid instead. It seems. Seems to be the way to go. Max of 20. Gotcha. And... We want a dexterous rogue so he can... Fire things and hit accurately, accurately, and stuff like that. Okay, let's look at skills. The Minotaur. Let's have a sexier Minotaur. Is there a sexier Minotaur? There is not. Okay, we want him to be a heavy hitter with maces. Oh, I only get one skill point. Okay, let's. Armor skill represents fighters' knowledge of armor and defensive combat techniques. Spending poison effectiveness of equip armor and your character's defense ability. You need level 2 for more protection, level 5 for more health. Him. Let's go with axes. Just. And let's see here. We have a aggressive and touch tough minotaur. And you, my fair lady, you have four skill points. Let's make you a sword fighter. Hmm. Oh, a minotaur have a oh. Yeah, let's go with the headhunter instead. Were there more traits? Natural armor for insectoid. Yeah, we can use that one later on. Hmm, let's see here. This is poison, fistfight, demonic ancestor. Uh, let's make her aggressive and athletic. Then we have our rogue. And our rogue has to be, let's see, evasive and agile. And you are good with, let's see, 
missile weapon. Does that count as bows? Yes. Throwing weapons. Uh, maybe, but let's go with missile weapons. And our insectoid. Of course, he has a natural armor because that's a race trait. And what else does he have? Demon Ancestor, Resist Fire 25, Cold Blood, Resist Cold 25, Aura. Let's go with a Potent Aura. Uh, resist Fire, Resist Shock. What kind of... Spell card skill represents overall progress in the way of magic. Advancing skill enables you to cast more spells before exhausting the energy reserve. Hmm. And at level 5 you unlock more spells. Level 3, level 2. Resist fire. I'm not sure. Let's let's go with fire magic. Seems simple enough. And we unlock a spell with two points. Do we want to go for the heavy resist fire? Or do we want something else? Let's go with metal. Let's go with all fire. He's a fire mage. Foley, salt, Kavko, Orson, Hamzard, Gimtar. Let's let's just go with something generic. And we have our rogue, our lizard rogue. And uh, do we know any lizards? Do we know any lizards? Funny enough. Ah, uh, let have a guess. Have a guess. Do we know any tars? Uh, hmm. That's as far as my imagination will carry me. Let's get to this. Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than the history of men have been written. It's a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Kinda got a Lord of the Rings thing going here with the statues. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treason with deed, but the grace of the king their crimes shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. That's, that does not look like a lizard man, an insectoid, a Amazon, and a Minotaur. Their final trait is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them are darkness and justice awaits. So, <laughs> innocent un until proven a mighty warrior. As they plunge down the open mall of the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark? And to the freedom that awaits at the base of Mount Grimrock. Most likely not. But let's see what we can do. First time playing Grimrock. Yes, a tutorial is available from the pause menu. Accessible by pressing escape. So this is what we have. We have a magic user who's probably going to be the only one that's useful for now. What can we do? We can... What? How do we turn around? Ah. So it's uh, WAST configuration and Q&E for turning around. Good enough? Good enough? Walk towards the light, I guess.
Can I look down? Apparently not. Since the description told me about treasures and hidden items, I'm already looking for something. Not sure if it'll highlight in some way. But yeah, let's look at the tutorial. You control a party of four prisoners. Prisoners walk in a square formation with the front and the back row. Only the front row can perform melee attacks. Use was to move and Q and E to turn. Portrait and item slots. Yes. Lift. Item slots are used to attack in this place when the character carry their hand. Left click on an item, pick up in front slot and right click to attack with the item. You can change the marching order by dragging a portrait with the left mouse button. Okay. Character sheets. Pick on drop items by clicking in this area. Operate dungeon mechanism. Throw items by clicking in this area. And resume. Right, we want the Amazons in the front. Choose your fate. Perish in this cell or pick up the torch. Apparently that... I, <laughs> I have a... No, I do not want to throw the torch. Here you have it. Pick up another torch. Let's interact. Are we missing something? Can we fight with the torch? Hmm. We have a club. Now we have a lot of torches. So far, no enemies though. A rock. Here, throw rocks. This looks like a push plate. Could it be a push plate? It was. Oh, I can right click to look around so I can see a little bit above and a little bit below. Good to know. Let me guess. The rock goes here. That is a very sensitive push plate. Let's keep you on the wall so I can know when I can come back. Brass key. Do I have an inventory of some sort or do I have to hold everything? I have to click the portraits to find their inventory. Torch, bright, attack power, 16. Maze weapon, I want an axe. That's our fire skills, and yeah. Here you have a torch as well. Right, you can cast spells, right? But, okay, we need to find food as well. Hmm, but... He has a spell, but he doesn't know what it is. Mm -hmm. right, let's go back to the tutorial. Party and marching, ports and land, character sheets, rest, map, equip, status, skills. Skills. Yeah.
You obtain the power to cast new spells and increase the efficiency of fire spells as you advance in the skill. In order to learn a spell, you also need to find a scroll explaining the rune of the spell. <sighs> so, basically, you're a... You're a spellcaster that doesn't know any spells. Keep that thing on the wall so we know where to return. And this one just goes around in circles so we can pick that up. Let's uh, click on the portrait to put it in the inventory. Good to know. You there. You have a brass key which can open this door, I bet. Can we... No, we gotta click that. I thought it would be some sort of quick button to close it, but apparently not. Loose rock. Loose rock. Loose rock. They're all loose rocks, but what do I do with them? Oh well, let's keep going. Here, another torch. Hmm. Might be that I have to find something with these loose rocks. getting this if I click it it just says lose rock so what am I supposed to do with it Cost me a lot of health, but I managed to cast a spell. Yes, it says lose rock. Then what? I lost the rock. <laughs> Slowly regenerating health as well, that's good. Spell, fire burst. How am I supposed to... If I click more, what will happen then? Um, I don't want to cast another spell book because I'd probably kill myself. It's a rune. Or was it a message? No, it did not look like that, no. A cross with the arrow on top. I don't really have a cross. I have that one. It's as close as it gets. But it's not the right one. Is it pointing me somewhere? New. How can I already be stuck? I haven't even found an enemy yet. And these loose rocks are bugging me. Uh, 
Uh, iron key. If I use the key, will this open or will that open? Luckily enough, that will open. And another torch. And a snail. Ah, it's an evil snail. That snail is plotting my demise. No, let's not throw magic. Or rather, actually, let's throw magic. If it's spell of fizzles. Can't reach. So we gotta... Gotta stick with our front lines. Whoa, he exploded. Snail slice. Can we eat that? Snail slice. Can't we combine them to one slot? No, but we can consume them. Let's see how everyone is doing. Nobody needs to eat right now. No. Ah, boots. Leather pants. A knife. Boots. Now, do we want to equip one character or do we want to go for a more even layout? Not sure, actually, but... Let's let's go for one character so far. Apparently this way. Throwing knife. That's for you, sir. I feel like I'm missing a lot of secrets or something. Like I should be watching for small traps or buttons or push plates or something. Another snail. Actually, more snails. Let's... <laughs> Spell fizzle. Uh-huh, so it only reaches one square. Good to know. <laughs> Burn, Snaily. Oh, we get to keep this going though. Cool. Nope. The combat system is a little tricky because I want to left click to attack, but can't. Oh, they automatically pick up the throwing knives when I step on it. That's nice. That apparently is the way to go, but let's explore first, shall we? More torches. That will most likely open up to something. More rocks for you, and this is a... Pit root bread. How are we doing? We don't need to feed just yet. Hmm. Do you want to explore this or do we want to explore this area? First, let's do the non-closed areas first. 
Baked maggot. You're the kind of guy that likes maggot, right? Lizard. And another rock for you. Sandals. Those are for you, my lady. Loincloth. Let's do this. Let's... This seems like a little bit more... Humanistic. Or what you might call it. Leather boots and leather strip. And we switch character. And he has hooves, so he doesn't really need leather boots, does he? So we're putting sandals on him instead. Because he needs sandals, apparently. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, now. Oh, I just thought of something. That door needs a key, and I do not have a key, so we gotta go find a key. And the key is most likely in here somewhere. To close the pit, something needs to fly. I have an idea. Can we do that and that? Yes, we can. Will he throw the knife if I right click on his portrait? Or can I choose which hand to use? I actually could. Cool. And we have our key. And we want to leave that rock there, otherwise we won't get back, will we? No. Well, open up, and iron key. That is a little ominous. Like he's gonna breathe fire on us or something. Whoa. This is a little insomnia vibe to it. That is one freaky looking thing. Is that a wear mushroom? Those are wear mushrooms. I do not want to mess with the wear mushrooms right now. That's a switch. Most likely the switch. Yep. Is there a timer on it? Don't know, but I have an idea. Come here, little snaily. Wee. <laughs> hey, another snail. That's no fair. This is my rock. You cannot have it, or it is mine. This definitely looks like either a trap or a hidden something somewhere. But I also don't know if all the hidden rocks are going to be like jagged pieces on the top corner. This is actually a bit scary. In a dungeon crawly th uh, fashion. You missed. Let's go for the S car. Go. Who likes snails? Another loincloth. Yeah, but we have another rock here. I wonder how many rocks he can carry. Scroll of Fireburst. Yeah, just to let you know, we already... Yeah, we already figured that one out. Loincloth. Who needs a loincloth? Lizardy needs a loincloth. 
And then there is Tattered Cloak. Let's go with the Insectoid. Evasion plus two. No, we want Evasion on you, my lady, I think. Not sure how a cloak would actually help someone evade, but there you go. Minus willpower. All right, they have stats. All of them have stat willpower, attack power. Yeah, that that is actually what we're going for with that. No power, attack power. Having a loincloth that reduces your willpower and <laughs> raises your attack power, meaning that if you're in a loincloth, you're frustrated. All our characters are healthy. So let's. Uh huh, that's how it works. There we go. It's a little tricky to cast spells because you have to, like, click multiple things. Like, you attack by just attacking, clicking on the weapon you want to use while attacking, but... That one. If I step on that plate, this door will shut, won't it? I will look at our food. No. If your starving bar turns red, you won't regain health or and energy. Hmm. Oh, our torches are burning out. Let's burnt out torch. Put that in the backpack. Put that in the backpack. And oh, and it loses attack power when it burns out. There we go. A bright torch. Ooh, what do we have here? Blue gem. What do we want with a blue gem? We can't place it anywhere. Do we socket items later on? Perhaps. That did absolutely nothing. My disappointment is complete. Might have actually done something though. Let's try it. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I th think I know how to do this. You open this up. And you throw a rock. Which actually goes too far. Okay, so I don't know how to do this. Can we just... Run? No! I'm not sure I got this puzzle. Maybe it's if you don't have a rock, you can't do it or something like that. Do we have a map, though? Yes. We've explored that. We've explored that. Do we want to go here? Or do we want to go here? Oh, you can add notes. This is like... This is actually kind of like your pen and paper kind of thing. But in-game. That is so cool. They really thought about it. Yeah, it was nothing there. And another rock. The one we throw earlier. Do you want to open that? No, let's keep that one closed. Yeah, do we want to go that way or do we want to go this way? All right, those are the living mushrooms thingies. 
Hello. You wouldn't happen to be friendly, would you? Ah, oh, gather not. Okay, how many of there? How many of you are there? Rock. Let's go magic. Let's hit him. Now you're useless. Let's hope there's not more than three, because I don't think we can handle more than three. Out of energy. Naturally. Herder cap. Do we want to try and eat something? See if it actually gains us any sort of benefit, like... Health regeneration or something. Herder cap. You can eat the herder cap. Nope. Just full. What about snail? Yep. Bait maggot. No. Yeah. Well. Come on. I that. I uh, pick root bread, right? Like, no. Here, you eat this snail flies. That is disgusting. Grim cap. Let's give it to the spellcaster on the hopes that he is a botanist of some sort that can make potions or something. Don't think that's likely, but yeah, whatever. Hmm, how do we open this cell, do you think? More herders. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I will strike at thee. And throw rocks at thee. Plus one, plus one. Tar bead. That sounds botanical. Might be. Uh, let's grim. All oh, right, we gave the grim cap to that guy. Hmm, a rare herb that grows in swamps and other moist areas. It is known for its potent healing property. Shift left mustn't handle single. Ah, okay. Delicious mushroom can be found in underground. Caves, the Lenin Master Chief of Northampton, place values it highly as new important in his finest suits. But it doesn't say if it gives us any benefit. And why don't they stack? Hmm. Blue gem. They don't stack either. And that did absolutely nothing. It might have done something if we were stuck in here, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I get it. One goes there. One goes there. Ta-da! Did not want to end up in front of a night of some sort that is actually kicking my ass <sighs> got him a shield you could probably use a shield we have anything else yes a spear can I use a spear from the back row? Maybe not, but I can. 
give her a spear. Heal my sight, yes. Uh, design, this game is just beautifully done. Like, they really nail how the game looks and the ambience and all the little details, the moss between the rocks and the whole atmosphere is really nice. And colored lights as well. Continue. The music is very nicely done. And now, we have another quest in front of us. A huge door. But what lies behind that door? You're gonna have to check out Legend of Grimrock to find out. Because we're gonna continue this quest without you. So, until next time, happy gaming. What can we have? We can have Human, Minotaur, Lizardman, Insectoid. And all the stats differ up, naturally. And we have some character portraits as well. As far as I know, you get four characters. And you have two in the front and two in the back. So we might want some heavies in the front. Yeah, let's do a Minotaur. Or can you do it with just one guy? That would actually be interesting. No, you can't click start game unless you have more characters. Okay. More heavy hitters. It's... Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Health. 70 energy. Ooh, accuracy protection. I'm looking at the stats to see what character I could put up on the front. Insectoid is a little bit weaker, but more. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's see here. Yeah, let's put another human fighter in the front. Let's see. Oh, we can still allocate points. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, Legend of Grimrock. I'm almost always saying Grimlock because I think that's a transformer or something. But uh, before we talk about the game, I gotta show you something I found here in the option screen. Tablet mode. This game is, as far as I know, only available for Windows and Mac and uh, Linux. But they have a tablet mode. So you can control the game through your tablet, touch, uh, touch pads or a single button mouse. But that is some forward thinking right there. Not everyone has a keyboard and a mouse. They may be playing it on a Windows 8 tablet or something like that. And that's it. That's that says good form. Good form. Uh, it is published and developed by Almost Human Games, and they are in the making of Legend of Grimrock 2. So it's about time we got to this one. And here's what the game has to say about itself Legend of Grimrock is a dungeon crawling role playing game with an old school heart, but a modern, but a modern execution. A group of prisoners are sentenced to certain death. But ex by exiling them to the seclu secluded Mount Grimrock for a while for wild crimes they may or may not have committed. Unbeknownst to the captors, the mountain is riddled with ancient tunnels, dungeons, and tombs built to crumble civilization long perished now. Built by crumbled civilization. Built to crumble civilization would have been a good feat, but anyways. Um, 
If they ever wish to d see daylight again and reclaim their freedom, the ragtag group of prisoners must form a team and descend through the mountains level by level. The game brings back the old school challenge with highly tactical real time combat and grid based movement. Devious hidden switches and secrets, as well as deadly traps and horrible monsters. Legend of Grimrock puts an em emphasis on puzzles and exploring, and the wits of perception of the players are more important tools. Oh, this is getting a bit. <laughs> I just go one, once more, once more. Legend of Grimrock puts an emphasis on puzzles and exploring, and the wits and perception of the players are more important tools than the than even the sharpest swords uh, could be. And if you're a hardened dungeon crawling veteran and you crave an extra challenge, you can arm yourself with a stack of grid papers and turn on the old school mode, which disables the luxury of the automat. Are you ready to venture forth and unravel the mysteries of Mount Grimrock? Who here remembers playing RPGs with uh, like a grid paper and just scrolling down a map to see where you are? If either if you're playing the game or you just want to do it anyways, there's a dungeon editor so you can create your own dungeons, but we're not going to do that. We're going to see what this game has to offer. Create characters. Now let's Now actually let's look at a create character. So we can see what we can do. Ah, uh, let's let's do for 5. There, that's good. Well, let's go with the warrior princess thingy. Let's have a mage lizard and a rogue insectoid. Yeah, there we go. And let's see, we want. Heavy tanks in the front. Hmm. Accuracy is determined by dexterity. There we go. And more attack power, yes. Hmm. Some more hit points. And some more attack power, yes. Now, a mage. What do we want with the mage? Oh, well, health and stamina. Perform maneuvers to accuracy and keen eye. Willpower, force of mind, and military arcane powers. Maybe a lizard man wasn't the prime choice then. Okay, so let's switch it up. Let's have a rogue lizard man and a mage insectoid instead. It seems seems to be the way to go. Max of twenty. Gotcha. And we want a dexterous rogue so he can fire things and hit accurately, accurately, and stuff like that. Okay, let's look at skills. The Minotaur. Let's have a sexier Minotaur. Is there a sexier Minotaur? There is not. <laughs> Okay, we want him to be a heavy hitter with maces. Oh, I only get one skill point. Okay, let's... Armor skill represents fighters' knowledge of armor and defensive combat techniques. Spending poison effectiveness, so equip armor and your character's defense ability. You need level 2 for more protection, level 5 for more health. Him. Let's go with axes. Just and let's see here. Mm -hmm. 
We have a aggressive and touch tough Minotaur. And you, my fair lady, you have four skill points. 